So what is a healthy kind of relationship to you? Gracie. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Um, I feel like a healthy relationship is a mutual interest in one another and um, being able to communicate smoothly with each other. Um, I feel like relationships get unhealthy when people need to control one another and um, rules come into play. I feel like all relationships should have rules, but only to an extent where you're not restricting the other person. Um, I feel like watching the people around me um, and their relationships and then experiencing relationships of my own, I've kind of learned my idea of what I consider a healthy relationship. And that's what I strive for now, just like learning from the people around me um, what I want and what I don't want. And that's kind of my definition of a healthy relationship. But you? Very cool. Uh, Corey, what's your idea of a healthy relationship? <laughs> uh, anything that is fun and also that you learn something and just having a good time. Okay. Enjoying, progressing, helping, helping each other grow and become more. You're there to make each other happy. Love is all about giving anyways. So whether it's a friendship or a client or somebody you're in an intimate relationship, love is about giving because it's a gift of the heart. So it's unattached. And, you know, you're with somebody that's nice to you. Like your, your dad, he's like always been nice to me, never once raised his voice or yeah. got pissed off at me ever. Sean, our other mutual friend, same thing. I always been cool, nice, kind, always made the effort. And it's like the best girlfriends I ever had, they were all like that too. They were always nice, kind, fun to be around. If I was in a grumpy ass mood, they'd be making fun of me, trying to crack me up, which would usually work because, yeah. you know, it's, it's hard to be mad at somebody that's, that's nice to you. So that, that's what matters most to me. So my idea of a healthy relationship is... A relationship where the two people, they're still their individual selves and they can still have their own lives, but they still come together and kind of almost have that one life together where they, they're on the same page and they're just working working together towards the same goals. I think a big thing with that is goals and the healthy relationship, having that communication where you can be completely honest with your partner and you just don't, you don't have to sugarcoat stuff or lie to it. You just tell it how it is and then you guys, after, after saying how it is, deciding what you're going to do about, about it. Instead of just like, kind of say if you have something like important to say in a relationship, you say it, and they're like, okay, I don't, I want, I'm not confronted with this information right now. Let's just kind of put it in the, under, sweep it under the rug and not do anything. Rather, just dealing with it there and then, and just working past that. That's what a healthy relationship to me is. Like being able to move forward from problems. Problems, or just move forward in general. Yeah. Honestly, like just having that ability. Basically, you deal with the, but. It's going to be honestly where there's not a lot of problems. That's the, ideally the point. It's yeah. just if the problem does arise, it can be dealt with in a good it. way. Mm -hmm. That's my idea of a healthy relationship. I agree. Sweet.